So we will be using one of the three methods, that is gross profit this method or this method or this method. Then going further, there are certain special adjustments. Free samples. Free samples are given by the company usually when the company is going to start a new product line. Then the treatment in accounts would be, in trading account, it should be deducted from purchases because that's the amount of stock which is available for sale. We have purchases of some amount and free samples are given out at cost price. That's the reason why it is deducted from purchases and not from sales because there's no element of profit involved. If element of profit was involved, we would have deducted from sales which appears on the credit side of trading account. Since free samples are given free of cost, it's a reduction in the purchases. To that extent, the stock which is available for sale gets reduced. So purchase less free samples, that's the treatment. At times, a few problems we consider that there's a misappropriation of sales, sales which is unrecorded in the books. Then the treatment in the books for insurance claims purpose would be trading account, in trading account, credit side displays the sales. There we are going to record the unrecorded sales because to that extent our stock has gone down. So there's a reduction in the stock. So sales plus unrecorded sales, we total it up and we take it over here. These are a few standard examples. Now let us go to the procedure of working out the sum. This is a very uh, procedure oriented uh, chapter. Here we've got step one, where trading account of a particular business unit, so this represents the name of the business unit, trading account of so and so, name of the business unit, for the year ending, it is for a particular year. So this year has been completed, so for the year ending. In this trading account, it's a regular trading account format which all of you are used to. There's nothing new. Two opening stock. On the debit side, you've got opening stock. And here we add up purchases, less returns. The net of purchases, we add up. And we take the other expenses. All this is the total cost of which we are going to sell, again, less returns. Net of sales, net sales, that's what we get. And we add up closing stock the balancing figure would be gross profit. This is what we have been doing all this while, there's nothing new. So this is a fixed template which we are comfortable and we carry on with this template. All that we'll have to do in the problem is, problem will not give the data in this template, it'll give it in some other fashion. So we'll have to pick up the data and fill it in this template. All that we'll be doing is filling these numbers filling the name of the company, filling the year which is during the problem, and filling these numbers. Except for that, this part of the template, the particular part of the template is all fixed. This is all fixed. So it's only the numbers that we are going to fill up based on the problem. So hence, a small note is given. All items for trading account will be given in the problem, except the GP. So GP is the balancing figure. So all this what is given in black is given in the problem. GP is the balancing figure. Balancing figure means the total of the credit side. That is this amount. And that is from that total of the credit side, we are going to deduct the total of the debit side. That is these three amounts, these black ones. The total of this debit side, this minus total of this, we are, we are going to get this number. When you take this number, these two totals become same. So that's balancing figure. Now, this gross profit, what we get, is done with an objective of finding out the gross profit ratio, the trend of the company, what is the earning capacity of the company. So with that in mind, we are trying to find out what's the gross profit. Once we get the gross profit, we use it in the gross profit ratio formula. This gross profit, we take it here. This amount, we take it here in the gross profit. Net sales, we take net sales from here. This net sales, is copied here. So gross profit by net sales into 100 will give us the gross profit ratio. If the problem already gives the gross profit, then we won't have to prepare the trading account because the objective of getting preparing trading account is get gross profit. If that's already given, we stop preparing trading account. We continue with the gross profit. 
we use that number in gross profit ratio and then we prepare memorandum trading account. Step 3 is memorandum trading account. Here we use the word memorandum because it is for a particular period, it is not for an year. Here we had for a year, year ending, but here it is for a period ending. It is not one full accounting year. It starts from the beginning of the year, beginning of the financial year, that's why financial year beginning and ends on the date of fire. So this is a memorandum trading account because it's not prepared for the regular period of the financial year. That's why I use the word memorandum. Except for that, all the rules and the format are exactly same as trading account. That's what we observe here. There's absolutely no change. The word memorandum because the period. So it's an estimate. In memorandum trading account, we are only trying to estimate. This is not based on accounting principles, not totally on accounting principles. So memorandum trading account of, again the name of the firm, for the period, dash, 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 it starts with the beginning of the financial year and ends with the date of the fire. Again, the same thing holds good, but whatever is the closing stock of the trading account becomes the opening stock of the memorandum trading account. This becomes the opening stock. We just copy that number here. This will not be given the problem. Once we find this closing stock, we are going to copy that here. Sales less returns is taken here, like how we took it in the previous trading account, and purchase less returns, other expenses, absolutely no change, everything will be the same. Only change will be here, gross profit. When we did trading account, gross profit was the balancing figure. Here in memorandum trading account, gross profit is an arrived figure. How do we arrive at it? We use gross profit ratio and we bring that gross profit ratio here sales again net sales net of sales this amount we are going to take this amount as net of sales so gross profit ratio to net of sales will give us gross profit so this is an arrived number this is based on normal profits so now we have a total over here less sales minus returns this balancing figure, BF means balancing figure, is the closing stock. Here again, all items for memorandum trading account will be given in the problem, except GP and closing stock. GP is an arrived number based on the gross profit ratio of the previous years. Sales is sales given in the problem. So this arrived figure and closing stock is the balancing figure. With this, we get closing stock. Closing stock for the purpose of insurance claims, we say value of stock as on date of fire. That's what the term used. It's nothing but closing stock. Now step four, we are going to ascertain the actual loss. Stock on date of fire, that's a closing stock. What we arrived here in the previous step, this one. This closing stock is what we take here the same thing we take here but we reword it as stock on date of fire that's a closing stock less salvage as discussed earlier salvage means stock saved so of the total stock which we had we save some stock so the balance stock is what is lost this is what is lost plus we could have incurred some expenses to extinguish the fire, to put off the fire. They are going to add up to the cost. So that has been added and we have a total actual loss in terms of rupees. This is called actual loss. Now in continuation of the procedures, we have step five, ascertainment of claim. This is a very important step, ascertainment of claim. Here we have if PA, PA has been PA is the expanded version of PA is policy amount. 